In this video, we'll look at whether copper 2 hydroxide, that's CuOH2, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the whole compound, this is an ionic compound, but within it, we have this hydroxide polyatomic ion. We actually have two of them. And the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen, that's a covalent bond. So when we look at the periodic table, copper is right here. That's a metal. Oxygen is a nonmetal. And then hydrogen, that's a nonmetal as well. So we have a metal and then nonmetals. We have a metal bonded to these nonmetals. That's going to be an ionic compound. And because it's ionic, we really should look at the charges on the copper ion and then this OH, this hydroxide ion here. So we know copper is a transition metal. So we can't tell just by looking at copper here what its charge will be. But we know the hydroxide, the whole hydroxide, each one of them is going to have a negative charge. So since we have two negative charges, copper is going to have a 2 plus. This will be the copper 2 ion. The 2, that tells us the 2 plus there. So we have our ions, they're oppositely charged, and the copper ion is attracted to these two negative hydroxide ions. That forms the ionic bond. Let's talk briefly about this hydroxide ion though. So we said oxygen, that's a nonmetal, and we said hydrogen is also a nonmetal. So when you have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that'll give you a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So within this copper 2 hydroxide compound here, the hydroxide, the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen, that's going to be covalent. But overall, because we have the positive copper 2 ion and the negative hydroxide ions, this will be an ionic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.